A 20-year research study by psychology professor Dr. Thomas Giovich led him to conclude that we get more enjoyment out of experiences than purchasing material possessions. And it makes sense. Spending a couple hundred dollars to go traveling with your friends for a short break is far more fun than spending that money on this overpriced pair of jeans that makes it look like you've been rolling around in the mud. But what if you're part of the 1%? What kind of adventures do they enjoy that the rest of us will never experience? Let's take a look at some of the extravagant trips only the richest among us can afford. Amazing! Number 10. The Royal Malwani Safari in South Africa Greater Kruger National Park is the largest national park in South Africa. It features 7,500 square miles of reserves and 147 different species including the Big Five, lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and the African buffalo. But the wealthy won't be pitching tents when they visit. They'll be visiting the Royal Malwani, a stunning series of refurbished historic houses that provide the finest in luxury accommodations. It's one of the nicest places to stay in Africa. Nine to 12 people can stay for close to $23,000 a night in the farmstead and get access to two vehicles for private safaris. A private game ranger and a tracker at the front of the car directs the safaris for guests staying in the farm stand. But if you're extremely popular, you can just rent out the entire place, which sleeps up to 32 guests for over $51,000 a night. Magnificent views surround each room, so guests don't need to go on a safari to take in all the natural beauty. Elton John's favorite lodge, the Africa House, includes six naturally lit bedrooms and an outdoor walk-in shower. Sir Elton compared the showers to a car wash because of its size. Size. Number 9. Flying to Space Money expands the dreams of the rich beyond the planet we currently inhabit, and Richard Branson wants to be the one to help those higher earners fulfill those dreams. Virgin Galactic is preparing to send the wealthy to space for an upfront cost of $250,000. Flights are limited to six people per flight. Many celebrities have signed on to participate, including Tom Hanks, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, Brad Pitt, Kate Winslet, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Ashton Kutcher. The trip is expected to last two and a half hours, which means every minute in the air would be costing $1,500. That would leave past passengers with just long enough to experience zero gravity and the breathtaking views of the planet. The cost also includes three days of training at Spaceport America, New Mexico. I wonder how many real-life astronauts out there laugh when they read three days of training for space. As for the current progress of this rich person experience, so far Virgin Galactic has run numerous test flights. The fifth test flight sent actual passengers into space, though both on board were actual astronauts. And Branson plans to fly on his own on July 11, 2019 in honor of the 50th anniversary of man's first flight to the moon aboard a Apollo 11. That's a bold and daring thing to do from the billionaire. I say we send some flat earthers up there instead. Number 8. Visiting Antarctica in Luxury Most people who visit the frozen continent are scientists doing research. They camp in the brutally cold and frozen landscape of Antarctica for weeks or months at a time doing their underappreciated work. Most normal people avoid going to Antarctica because they want to avoid the dreaded Drake Passage, which is one of the most treacherous and dangerous bodies of water in the world. But some of the wealthiest don't have to worry too much about that since they can endure it in pure luxury. There are two expensive, but more than comfortable ways to see the frozen continent. The first one is aboard a cruise ship from Silver Sea Cruises. Prices range from $13,000 for a 10-day cruise to around $29,000 for an 18-day cruise. And these are for the cheapest rooms. There are typically waiting lists for the largest rooms, but the third largest on the 18-day cruise will set you back over $60,000. That's over $3,000 a night. No wonder then that a butler is assigned to serve each suite. Daily activities include whale and seal watching in the Greek Passage, a Zodiac watercraft trip to the South Georgia Island, spectacular views of glaciers, and a team of marine biologists and historians to guide the entire journey. For a more personal and even more expensive experience, AOS Expeditions offer a 12-person luxury yacht adventure. This trip is more action-oriented than the cruise. Adventures include close-up encounters with icebergs, skiing, hiking, and exclusive wildlife excursions like getting close to whales in a small boat. Yacht expeditions vary in price depending on the boat. But one example is the recently chartered Legend, which books one-week trips for $28,500 per person. Number 7. Purchasing Islands for Private Vacations If you've got the money, why even bother taking the chance of having to bump shoulders with a pesky peasant class? Instead, buy your own island and vacation there whenever you want. Buying islands is almost a rite of passage for celebrities to show just how successful they are. For example, Eddie Murphy spent $15 million on Rooster K in the Bahamas in 2007, and Mel Gibson spent $9 million on Mago Island in Fiji in 2005. Some celebrities don't just buy islands for their own pleasure. They purchase them with the purpose of making even more money. Richard Branson purchased Necker Island and offers it as a resort destination for $5,000 a night for the rooms and $7,500 a night for the master suite. And David Copperfield sells vacation spots for Musha K, the island he owns out in the Bahamas. Up to 24 guests can book lodging for $42,000 to $60,000 a night. Talk about the rich getting richer. Number 6. 
touring the Silk Road by train. Are any of you history buffs? Now, can you imagine if you were a wealthy history buff? Well, if you can't, I'll paint the picture for you. Wealthy history buffs can take a train and tour the original Silk Road. The Silk Road was an ancient network of trade routes that connected the East to the West and has been vitally important to cultural integration over the centuries. During this history-themed trip, history nerds can visit multiple UNESCO World Heritage Sites. They take a 21-day journey by train from Moscow to Beijing with a personal attendant and world-class meals daily. They also stay at five-star hotels for certain stops for anywhere from $25,000 to $100,000. Sounds like a better way to experience 4,000 miles of history than the original inhabitants of the trail experienced. Number 5. Dive the Wreckage of the Titanic Continuing with the history buff theme, another expensive and popular journey takes its guests to where history's most infamous ship met its demise. For about $60,000, tourists board a sub that takes them down to view the remains of the ill-fated ship. The sub takes nine passengers down close to 20,000 feet to view the remaining wreckage. A crew of experts leads the journey as guests see the ship's deck and get an exceptional view of where the ship's signature feature once set, its grand staircase. The cost also includes meals, 12 days of accommodations, and lectures with the experts guiding guests through through the wreckage. The tour takes less than half the year to sell out, so winning the lottery might get you on the sub by 2021. Number 4. Visit the world's cultural treasures. Abercrombie in Kent offers various trips on private jets. One of these trips provides travelers with a series of once-in-a-lifetime experiences spanning eight cities over 23 days from the Far East to Europe. For $129,000, travelers visit locations that include Japan, Mongolia, the Himalayas, Abu Dhabi, and Sicily. Guests participate in a Zen meditation session, a private calligraphy lesson in Mongolia, visit the Taj Mahal, tour an ancient Greek theater in Sicily, and much more. And I haven't even mentioned accommodations on the flight, which includes includes lie flat first class seats, a world class chef, and onboard physician. Number 3 the water elevator at the Grand Whaley Resort. The Grand Whaley Luxury Resort in Maui caters to the wealthy clientele who aren't in the business of dropping five and six figure costs for their adventures. But that doesn't mean that the Grand Whaley comes cheap. Guests can count on dropping $600 to $2,500 a night plus a resort fee, and that's not counting airfare to Maui if they want to enjoy the luxuries of the Grand Whaley. And that's if you can even book a room. The Grand Whaley fills up quickly, so guests must book their stay months or even years in advance. The novelty that might explain the resort's popularity is the water elevator. The resort features pools so far down in Whaley Canyon, which is partially on the Grand Whaley property, that you need an elevator to get back to the ground floor. The elevator also takes you to one of the many water slides amongst the Grand Whaley's nine pools. Those pools vary from adventure-seeking to family-friendly, with the family-friendly aspect of the Grand Whaley one of its prime draws. But why are we kidding ourselves? The water elevator. That is the real reason people fly seven hours across the Pacific Ocean to visit this particular resort on the gorgeous island of Maui. Number two, 150 countries for $1.5 million. Back in 2013, the now defunct Very First 2.com made an offer they never thought anyone would take them up on. A two year trip covering 150 countries and 962 UNESCO World Heritage Sites for $1.5 million. But someone did take them up on their offer. A PhD student from China called and booked a trip that was planned for 2014, though I don't have any confirmation on whether he actually made the trip. For $1.5 million, the unnamed man would fly business class and stay in the best hotels around the world, but the man would be constantly moving, visiting two sites a day. The man also brought a partner on the trip, at least the trip agreement allowed for him to do so. Veryfirst2.com also booked one other trip for an Italian businessman and received 15 inquiries from prospective clients. To put all this into context, let's list the things you could do for the cost of this trip. Take yourself and six friends on Virgin Galactic space flight, two weeks on board the super yacht Northern Star, four weeks on Richard Branson's private island, a month on board a private plane, 57 nights in Hugh Hefner's Sky Via, four years living in a junior suite in the Savoy, 743 week-long romantic vacations on the Danube with Viking River Cruises, 24 years of trips aboard P&O's Asian Grand Adventure Cruise, live in a travel lodge for 31 years, or stay in a London hostel for 47,000 days. And number one, Passport to 50. Now, this one is by far the most expensive, and while the trip was not as long as our number two choice, it's the mode of travel that made this trip exceptional. Back in 2017, Dreammaker Travel offered a private jet trip, 50 signature experiences for $14 million. The private jet took guests to 20 cities in 20 days for 50 signature experiences. The 50 signature experiences brand themselves with examples including the blessings of 50 monks and 50,000 lotus petals. And what types of activities were flyers participating on in this flight? Well, how about yoga sessions? 
auctions, a $500,000 poker tournament, and fashion shows. And this flight includes a master sommelier to serve and provide drink recommendations. Keep in mind, there are only 256 master sommeliers in the entire world, and one of that exclusive group worked on this flight. I don't even think I have to tell you this flight features food and sleeping accommodations that are top of the line. At least for $14 million, they'd better be. But portions of the proceeds went to charity, so I guess that helped passengers justify dropping $14 million for a long plane flight. What I don't understand is why Jeff Bezos doesn't just live the rest of his life like this. He has enough money to be on this trip for about 547 years before his cash runs out. Anybody else feel poorer after hearing that list? I know, it can be a bit depressing to hear just what kind of experiences are available to those who can afford to go wherever they want to go in the finest accommodations. Which trip would you most like to go on? Let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.